Hi guys, it's Maria here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about bags, lifestyle and fashion, but mostly bags. I post videos every Friday, sometimes Monday and Wednesday. I'm always on a hunt for the perfect bag. If you're like me, subscribe, hit notification bell and let's enjoy bags together. Using my bag expertise, I want to do a series of videos talking about best bags from each luxury brand. And today I want to present my choice of the five best bags from Mulberry. No wonder that I decided to start this series of videos with Mulberry. I've been admiring this brand for ages. It's one of my most favorite luxury bag brands. I love them for their quality, amazing quality, their leathers, classic designs, and they're still kind of on the lower level of the price point in the luxury bag world, especially if we compare the Mulberry prices to the Dior or Chanel and Hermes. Their bags, in my opinion, are perfect entry level bags into the luxury bag world into the luxury bag collection. You might be surprised with some of my choices. Some of the choices are going to be totally expected. If you agree with my list of the five best luxury bags from Mulberry, that's good. If you disagree, that's even better. Do not hesitate to share your opinion in the comments below commenting which bags from Mulberry you consider to be the best. And I want to start my list with an absolute icon. No surprise here, it's a Mulberry Classic Base Water. It's one of my most favorite bags ever. And although at the moment I don't use that much, that was a point of time when I was using this bag every day, all the time, for any sort of occasions, even as a travel bag. It's quite heavy, it's almost 800 grams, and you know, if you put the, uh, the organizer inside like I do, it's even heavier. And I remember when I did the full review for this bag, if you haven't seen that, I'm going to leave the link below in the description box. I remember when I was presenting that bag and I was holding it like this, at the end of the video, my muscles were sore, no joke. So yes, although the bag is pretty heavy and with, as I mentioned, with organizer inside, it's even heavier, it's a perfect work bag and a perfect travel bag for me as well if you don't mind the bag on the heavier side. At the moment, the bag is actually over eight, eight years old. I, I need to check, I need to check how old this one is exactly, but yes, it's a pretty old bag and as you can see, there is a some wear in tear and some marks from the pen on the bag, but it's still overall in, I would say, the, the good, the good accepted condition. I love the fact that the bag is, resembles the iconic Hermes Birkin bag. I think this is where the inspiration for the, this bag came from. It's a classic work bag. Because of this classic design, it actually goes well with everything. And you can fit a lot in here. As you can see, the capacity is pretty good. And you can even expand that capacity using those straps because inside it has a little buckle to expand the capacity. I hope you can see that just now. And I'm going to quickly to demonstrate that so you can see how the capacity can be extended. So that what we have the narrowest capacity of the bag. And if we just, voila, look at this. That's how much you can extend the capacity quite quite a good and I remember I was using that feature when I was traveling with that bag and I was stuffing it up with uh, scarves and the socks and some food for the plane for the plane journey and yeah absolute classic and as I said I use that a lot as a travel bag the drop is really good. The handle drop is really good here and you can use that on the crook of the arm or on your shoulder, left or right, which one you prefer. The original classic Bayswater design comes with no strap. However, I think 
If you play around and if you want to add a strap, you can do that and attach the strap either to those buckles over here inside. We have two of those on each side or to those straps, the leather straps over here as well. I would pro I've never tried that, I'm going to be honest with you. And for me, because of the size of the bag and because I'm quite short, I'm only 5'3", 163 centimeters tall, it, it doesn't look good on me. One and two, it's too heavy, as I said, for me to wear that as a strap bag crossbody, for example. So I never tried for this particular reason, but as I said, it sits really well and really comfortably on the shoulder and I've already demonstrated that. I dearly love this bag and it has a big sentimental value to me. Unfortunately, I don't use much that at the moment and actually I'm thinking about getting a little spa treatment to this little beauty. It does need a little bit of cleaning to this small grain leather, which is incredibly durable and resistant to any scratches, marks and stains. But because the bag, as I mentioned, already over eight years old, you can see some wear and tear here. So I want to treat those little things and, you know, just to renew my little bag and probably that will prompt me to use my classic base water more often. I really hope for that. I'm not planning to sell this bag soon, probably because it does have a very strong sentimental value to me. But yes, I do want to treat that bag like a princess, you know, because this is what it is. And I absolutely adore a new version of the base water which come out this season, this year, and it's a soft base water. I've already demonstrated that bag in full in different sizes in my Edinburgh luxury shopping vlog video. If you haven't seen this video, there is a big section dedicated to the Mulberry bags. I'm going to leave the link below as well for you to check this out. Please, please check out the soft base water bag with a longer shoulder straps, longer shoulder handles, because that bag is incredible. And it's kind, I can't say that it's already on my wish list, that soft base water bag, but it's really, really close to entry my wish list at the moment. And since we start talking about the new Mulberry bags, on the place number two, I want to introduce you the newest addition to the Mulberry family, and it's an amazing tote bag, Mulberry Clovely bag. I've tried that bag several times, and it's actually one of the best tote bags, in my opinion, on the market at the moment. It's a lightweight, it has a great capacity, it has a great organizational space inside, it also kind of like a your unusual shape, so it's not your regular kind of like a square tote bag or like slightly trapezian tote bag, it has a more interesting shape. I like those tiny little leather straps hanging out on the both sides, but they are not annoying at all, it's really easy to operate and work with them. And then my most favorite thing about the Cloverly tote bag that on the strap, on the shoulder strap, you have in this particular place when the, the shoulder strap sitting on your shoulder, it's a wider pieces of leather. So the actual shoulder strap is going this, 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 and then wider. And on the both shoulder straps, and that allows the bag comfortably sit on your shoulder without sliding down. I, I say that every single time when I mention the bag sliding down your shoulder because that's one of the things that I hate the most about the shoulder bags when you need to do all of that. You are on the go, you are doing some, some stuff, you are busy, but the only thing you're doing is just pulling your bag all the way up to your shoulder and getting annoyed. <laughs> I do, I get annoyed very much with that situation. So Mulberry Cloverly bag, even with the full capacity being used, don't slide down your shoulder at all. And that's what I like the most about this new bag. 
At the moment, I want to add a tote bag to my collection. I have a two strong candidates. That's the Mulberry Cloverly bag and also very classic Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag in MM size. So I'm going to think about that. I'm going to compare those two bags. Maybe I even do some comparison video. At some point we will see. Let me know if you're interested in one of those videos in the comments below. But those two are the strongest candidates to be added to my collection as a tote bag because I'm missing a good tote bag at the moment in my collection. But this one, Mulberry Cloverly bag is definitely making five best Mulberry bags list and potentially <laughs> being added to my collection too. The next bag on my list of the five best Mulberry bags is Micro Zipped Base Water. I've added this little beauty to my collection four years ago in 2020 and I believe this is when Mulberry discontinued this bag and I was so happy to find out that this year, this season, Mulberry re-released this bag in small and micro size in the different beautiful colors. This one is a micro size. I wanted to add it on to my collection so badly because it reminds me Hermes Birkin bag and also Old Celine luggage nano bag. It's like those two brands, the luggage nano bag from Old Celine and Hermes Birkin had a baby and this baby was Mulberry Zipped Base Water. I absolutely love the idea how cute, teeny weeny this bag is. This version comes in porcelain blue color, vibrant, beautiful color. And then we also have a little Ah, adjustable and removable strap. Wow, that's absolutely beautiful. And another thing that I want to add about this bag, although it's teeny weeny, capacity is absolutely amazing for such a small size. And again, mulberry quality here is incredible. This bag is almost four years old and as you can see, it still keeps its shape perfectly once. All the corners are in pristine condition. I don't have much scratches on the small grained leather. The gold hardware is still shiny and beautiful. Yes, we do have a tiny little scratches here and there because I've used that bag a lot and especially in the first two years of me having this bag, but it's still in the perfect condition. Due to its fashionable design, this combination of Hermes Birkin bag and also Old Celine Nano luggage bag, due to the incredible mulberry quality where the mulberry strikes again, due to the great capacity along with the mini micro size, I want to add micro zipped base water to the list of the five best mulberry bags. And the next one, on the place number four, we have another absolute classic bag. And it was one of my first luxury bags. And here I'm talking about Lily bag. Yes, this bag was bought in 2013, if I'm not mistaken. So it's uh, almost 10 years old. Yes, it's completely lost its color and its shape, but I still dearly love this bag and no I'm not going to part my ways with that it's not in the condition to be sold but I'm not going to bin that because again it has a strong sentimental value to me and because I've used that bag so much yes it came to that not very attractive way because of me using that on a daily basis. And at that point, I didn't have many luxury bags in my collection. I think it was my second, my second luxury bag just ever. You know, that's why I've been using this bag a lot. And at that point, I kind of been changing that way over the past two, three years that I started babying my bags and looking after them, I've been learning more about the leathers and the qualities and how to look after my bags. And yes, it brought me to the point that I'm like, yeah, I think it's time to baby my bag. But when I purchased this bag almost 10 years ago, I was in that way. The bags for, not for display, bags for the life, the wear. And that's why, yes, I was kind of a little bit reckless with this bag. And that's why the condition is like that 
but it's an absolute icon from Mulberry, absolute classic bag. It's one of those bags that goes very well with everything. Do you want to use that bag as a shoulder bag? And I'm going to demonstrate that chain here. So you want to use that as a double chain shoulder bag. Easily you can do that. You can want to use that as a cross body bag. No problem. You can use that too. You want to adjust the, as you can see, that chain is not adjustable or removable, but you can play around a little bit with the bag and you can adjust the chain to your liking. For example, transforming the bag into the top handle bag and wear that oop, on the crook of your arm or in your hands, you can easily do that. Again, the size is small, but the capacity is incredible because inside it's only one uh, big zipped pocket and nothing else, no dividers or compartments, which allows you to fit quite a lot into this small bag. At the moment, bags comes in the different variations that regular size like that. We also have a medium size and the mini size. We also have the variation with a top handle, the chain top handle. Yeah, I, I really like that Mulberry kind of like over the years, because this is one of their um, most oldest designs from the contemporary era of Mulberry. I like how they're adding a little bit of here and there different things to the classic design, but that at the same time, they don't overuse, you know, they don't over commercialize their designs, the designs which are doing well, like some brands do unfortunately at the moment. And I like that the Mulberry is such an understated brand that you won't see a lot of Mulberry bags around, but they are unique, beautiful and fashionable at the same time. And now we're moving on to the bag number five in my list of five best Mulberry bags. And here we've got last but not least, and it's a Bayswater satchel bag. I've also purchased this bag a while ago. Unfortunately, I haven't been used it much and I'm still considering selling this bag just for one reason, because it don't use that much. It doesn't have a proper place in my wardrobe at the moment. And I genuinely believe that it will make someone more happy than, than myself. That's the only reason why I want to sell that. And I'm going to explain to you why I've added it on to my list of the best Mulberry bags. First of all, look at this amazing quality. So the bag is quite old just now, but it still amazingly keeps the shape, especially compare, where's my classic Bayswater? Here we go. You can see that because of the weight of the bag, because of this, thick grained leather. Yes, it's very durable. Yes, it's resistant to scratches and any stains and marks. Yes, it is heavier than any of your lambskin or a calfskin leather. And due to that, over the years, if you don't look after the bag properly, if you don't use any stuffing and the liners inside, it might lose that shape, it might collapse a little bit. And this is what happened to my base water. So at the moment, it's kind of like a trying because it has a liner and I use that with the stuffing. So it is trying not to collapse anymore. I've only added on the liner after I think five years of using this bag. But I also use that bag so often, you know, so I just even didn't keep that on my shelf at all. It was in a constant use. But look at this one. That keeps its shape perfectly. And it's obviously due to the fact that it's a smaller version of your classic base water. Again, when I purchased this bag, very soon after that, Mulberry discontinued this base water satchel design. And now, Again, I'm really happy to see that they re-released 
this design in several colors this year. I'm going to leave all the links below for you to check this out, what colors they have there. It's one of the one of the other things that I love about Mulberry, their colorways is beautiful, starting from your neutral colors, black, white, chalk, oak color, and then finishing up with some vibrant colors like my porcelain blue. But back to this great bag. It's a medium size, small to the medium size, and again, because of the, the capacity is incredible here. We also have, oh, I have some mask here. This is how long I haven't used that bag, guys. That's, I still have a mask there from the, the unfortunate times before, you know, and I have a second mask there as well. So back to the strap, we have the removable and adjustable strap. This hook, has a 360 rotation. I love the 360 rotation on the crossbody bags, which allows you comfortably arrange the bag around your body. It does not affect your movement and it, you feel really easy with the bag. So as I said, Satchel Design has removable and adjustable strap. It also has a top handles. Yes, they are not big enough for you to wear that on your shoulder. However, they are big enough to wear that on the crook of your arm or in your hands. I love this idea. And obviously because the bag is much smaller than the classic base water design, it's much lighter as well. So you can add a little bit more to the bag to not compromise the overall weight of the bag. And again, I want to pay respect for incredible mulberry leather quality, small grained leather, very resistant to any scratches and marks. As you can see from this video, guys, I'm very passionate about the mulberry bags and quality of mulberry bags is amazing. The youngest between all the bags that I showed you today, the youngest one will be zipped base water in the micro size. And I purchased this bag almost four years ago. And you can see that the majority of the bags still in the great condition. And even the very old bag like this one, and here we're talking eight years old anniversary soon, still in the relatively good condition. And I think it was going to be in really good condition after I'm going to do some treatment on the bag and after the little spa procedure with my classic base water. I love Mulberry classic designs. I love that they are bags just out of time, out of fashion. You will buy this bag and it will last you for ages because of the quality and because of the design. You wouldn't want or need to sell one of those bags because of the, oh, they are out of fashion anymore. They were just one of those little shooting stars, you know, of the fashion world. We know many, many bags like that, but it's not about the Mulberry. I really enjoyed making this video today covering five best bags from Mulberry. Which brand would you like me to do next? Please leave your suggestions in the comments below. And that's me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know where to find thumbs up, subscribe button, notification bell, and I will see you next time. Bye.